Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, returning to the warmth of 1980s Miami, or should I say Vice City, and doing another Avery Carrington mission. This one is called Demolition Man, and well, it kind of is one of those missions where it can be frustrating, but if you keep your cool, you can get the mission done. So let's get on with Demolition Man. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I- As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? Now you have to find a van which controls or has the radio controls for uh, a remote helicopter and then you have to fly that remote helicopter with explosives into a building to destroy it. And it's on the other side of the fence, but you got to get to the van. Now, the van contains the controls for the RC helicopter, which you will use to carry explosives and drop them in a certain area and certain locations in the building to, well, explode and collapse the building. You have a time limit, which makes it that much more frustrating, but if you do it in a certain order, and I'm going to show you that order. You grab the low-hanging fruit, i.e. the first floor. Then you try and get up to the fourth floor. And then you do the second and third floors. I'll show you the order. And the guards and workers will chase after the helicopter. The trick is to keep it high enough. And use your... Um, how shall I say, traffic and other things as a weapon to help you out. So here is the first bomb, and I'm just going to dump it on the first floor. Like I said, I grabbed the first floor first, and now you can get out of here and bring the helicopter up to a little higher elevation out of the reach of the other guy, and you use your traffic properly to block him from attacking, and you can pick up another bomb, and again, you got to get to another floor and the fourth floor is the one you should choose. This guy is going to attack the helicopter with this other guy. Again, you can use the traffic to your advantage. Don't worry, you have plenty of time. And once you come down and you set down and you pick up a bomb, you don't want the helicopter to get destroyed. So again, I'm just going to move this out into traffic and hopefully 
use the cars as a buffer. As you see, I used a van to delay them. Now I'm going to come in, grab a bomb, and take off. They will come after the helicopter and use the traffic as a buffer. Once you get into the building, the next floor I'm going to get to and try to get to is the fourth floor because that is going to be the next easiest but also highest up location and you got to weave your way through the stairwell here and try and avoid the construction workers and police in order to continue up to a different floor in this case i'm going to have to swing around and yeah you don't want to damage the helicopter too much. It can take some damage, but you want to keep climbing up the floors. And again, you can get to the fourth floor. This is the third. I'm going to swing the helicopter around and see if I can bring it to the fourth floor. Like I said, you just got to... Well, I'm going to bring it to the third floor here and drop the bomb and get back to picking up another bomb. Me to drill you. You can also gain altitude and try and push the helicopter to fly faster to outrun the guards, but they do catch up. And you got to be a little more opportunistic at times when it comes to dropping bombs. If you can get to a floor and drop another bomb, well, do it. And as you can see, I'm trying to use the guys dropping off the floor rather than um, going down the stairs. I'll use the non-stair climb and I'm going to do the second floor bomb and I'll use the last amount of time to get to the fourth floor bomb. But once I drop that off, I have one more bomb to go. And once you drop your final bomb, you don't have to worry. So again, you have plenty of time, just keep your cool.
As you see, once the final bomb was dropped, the building exploded, and you have plenty of time. I try and do it in a certain order, but I was a little opportunistic and it worked out. If you like this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up icon, leave a comment. I post four video, videos a week related to video games, and it can be a mixed bag of Vice City, Valhalla, Skyrim, Red Dead Redemption. If you like any of those games, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you will be informed as to when I post videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.